Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it! <laughs> hey, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Well, guys, today, you're in luck. Because we have another segment of the Everyday Kitchen. do today in the everyday kitchen well guys we're gonna do two things one we're gonna make a breakfast skillet it's gonna be full of all kinds of goodies number two we're gonna be taking a taste test now I've had this ingredient in certain things before but I've never done an actual straight taste test quite like this. What is it you may be asking yourself? Let's take a gander, shall we? We have Louisiana hot sauce. We have three slices of cheese. We have eggs. Premium turkey breast junk meat. Pepperoni. Bell pepper. Onion. Potato. And... The habanero. That's right, guys, the habanero. I've never bought habaneros. I've never cooked with habaneros. I've never straight up tasted habaneros. I've had habaneros in hot sauces, stuff like that. So, today we're about to spice this up just a bit. So, let's get started, shall we? First, let's cut up a potato. Oh! <coughs> Not Corona. All right, guys, we got the potatoes cooking over there, frying up, doing their thing. Let's cut up some pepper and go from there. Guys, I guess the moment of truth is the habanero. I've never done these before. And I don't know if I want to cook them in the skillet with all the other stuff or do them separate. I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll figure it out. I'll go ahead and cut it up. How about that?
All right, guys. Well, I was going to just try the habanero in my breakfast skillet, but I'm going to try a little piece of it right now. I don't want to do anything stupid because I do got to go for a bike ride today and, you know, do other things. And I'm sure this is nothing major. Let's try a piece, shall we? I'm going to try this one that has all the junk in it. Of course, peppers never taste great, no matter what kind of pepper. Like raw like that. Yeah, there's some heat. I think I got this, guys. I think I got it. Yeah, that's nothing. Let's go put it over here in the skillet. Now what are we going to do? We're going to chop up some pepperoni. El pepio el runio way. Are these the new ones? Yeah, we already got some open. If I can open them. If I tell you. We'll just get a handful of them. Not going to do anything crazy. Cut them up a little bit. Let's get a gander at that, shall we?
All right, that's cooking up, getting all the onions and the peppers and all that done. Looks pretty good to me, guys. You can see those little habaneros in there. Not nearly as hot as I thought they were going to be. Of course, I do have hot sauces that use habanero, and to me, the hot sauces taste hotter. So, I don't know. Who knows, guys? Let's mix up some eggs, shall we? All right, guys, let's go and put some cheese in there, shall we? All right, guys, basically all we're doing now is putting the lid on, turn the heat off, kind of let the cheese melt. And you know what? Something else I might do, just for the poops and giggles of it. Tiny bit of milk. Sometimes, uh, you need to use milk with your eggs, just sometimes because they get a little bit, uh, Everything, especially when you're cooking like that and you're making like a skillet, sometimes everything kind of gets, you know, set up and you want to kind of loosen it up a little bit. Just a little bit of milk will help that. Can you really have too much cheese? Why no? No, you can't. I'm ready to dish it out and give it a shot, baby. Let's do this. All right, guys. I have a little wild turkey surprise for you. Not only am I going to eat my wonderful breakfast skillet, but I've decided to just take a big old bite out of one of the habaneros. I washed it off. Don't know how it's going to go over, but I'm going for it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding.
not gonna lie, I expected a little bit more heat. There's some heat, I mean, you, but it's very manageable. I'm really surprised. I think habaneros are probably the most used peppers because they're, they kind of, <clears throat> they kind of split the line of probably something more subtle, maybe like a jalapeno, and something more extreme like a ghost pepper or something like that. So, I got a habanero cooked in my skillet. Plus, I tasted a little tiny bite before. I'm eating the raw habanero. Pretty good, guys. It gives just a little bit of kick, really, honestly. Of course, it's still got the little core in there or whatever. I don't necessarily want to eat the core. Well, I'll finish that up in just a minute. Well, there you go. The habanero pepper is very doable. I think it comes in three colors. Green is not right. And then you have like the orange and the red. And the orange and the red are pretty much the same from what I gathered from just a quick little snippet that I read uh, yesterday. So... Anyway, I think it's time to up the heat one more, one more degree, one more notch. I did purchase two more, two different hot sauces, and I'll do a video on those later. Separate videos, of course. Gotta stretch it out. That's what she said. Guys, I hope you enjoyed another episode of the Everyday Kitchen slash a little taste test. Uh, should I cut that out? Anyway, guys, check out all my videos. Share all my videos. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Comment, 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 comment. Comment, all that good stuff. And also, get up, get out, get ready, do it to it. Even when eating a breakfast skillet with a little habanero and pepperino in the skillet. And eating the raw jalapeno. Habanero. I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. I go do something fun. We'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it.